Guys, what's going on? It's been a year since I've made a video. I just recently was able to get back into my YouTube channel and um, part of this video that I'm going to show you guys is cut off because I said I could not get into my old YouTube channel, but I was able to, so that's why I'm making this intro right now. But let's go ahead, jump into the full video that I have for you guys, where I have been, what I'm up to now, and uh, yeah, let's just go for it. think we're good. So, I am obviously not working for Rio anymore. I don't know if anybody really figured that out, if anybody follows my social media. But I left Rail, uh, I believe back in October? October or November I left Rail. Um, and I worked for a smaller trucking company out of Oshkosh. Only worked there for a handful of months because of a lot of butting heads with my dispatcher. Um, and trying to adjust to the lifestyle of what I once was as an OTR driver to being a local truck driver with a more or less start and end time within the day. And it became too much for my inexperienced self to handle. Um, so I had to part ways with the company and thankfully I was able to get in contact with my father. Uh, he works for a place called NM Transfer. And M Transfer is a local place in Nina, uh, family owned, operated. They have been around for a while. They're a household name. And it was a really amazing company where I can hone in on changing my lifestyle of being an over the road trucker to being a daily truck driver uh, in a more suitable manner for me to learn and experience and gain the knowledge that I need to. So with that, um, I loved rail but they weren't paying me enough. And I'm just gonna put that out there as full disclosure, I'm not bashing on them, but when you have such a big corporate company like that and you have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of drivers consistently coming in and out, the pay rates, the pay scales just aren't there because there's so many of us, you're not going to get the fulfillment and consistency in the pay rate that you thought you would get when you first were hired on. And that goes for a multitude of big corporate trucking companies. With that said, transitioning to local truck driving, the previous place that I did work for, I was getting paid hourly. Now with that, getting paid hourly can have its perks, but it also has its side effects. Remember, all of our shit still gets taxed. And with the last two years, how our taxes have been is and inflation and all that crap, not even gonna get into it. But with NM transfer, um, I get paid per mile again, but I also get paid per stop. What I made at my old job, let's just say four figures, bare four figures every week. Working almost 70 hours in a five day period every single week. What do you want? All right, anyways, um, but what I'm trying to get at is that do not sacrifice your lifestyle for a local trucking place if you're just going to be doing the exact same thing as an over-the-road trucker would be basically doing. The only difference is that, yeah, you get to come home and sleep in your bed, but you don't even get time to s unwind, spend time with family and friends. You think having a 10-hour clock reset is more than enough time being a local truck driver. In reality, if you're getting worked your total work hours every single day, five days a week, you don't have time when you come home. It's literally draining beyond all compare and you know, you need your rest. 
you need your rest because you do not want to be drowsy and you don't want to falter when you're behind that wheel, that 80,000 pound road missile, and possibly risk hurting somebody or possibly killing a family. I know you don't want to live with that on your conscience. I sure as hell don't want to live with that on my conscience. I couldn't. So do yourself a favor. Dig into the companies that you're interested in working for and are they paying hourly and get the inside scoop. Ask around. Just go to a truck stop and if you're interested in this one company, find that truck driver. Hey, what's the hours actually like? What is the pay actually like? Nine times out of ten, the truckers will tell you straight up, shit or great. Thankfully, with NNM Transfer, I get paid per stop and I get paid per mile. And the big difference between that is I am in such good communication with my dispatcher that if there's a day where I know it's going to be a long one, but I know it's something that's manageable and something that if there's a workload that they have set on me that I know I cannot fulfill, all I got to do is just tell them that. And they are more than willing to give it to somebody else and they work with you so that you don't have to wake up at 4 a.m., get to the terminal by 4.30, get all of your paperwork in, get to your truck, hook to your trailer, grab whatever else supplies that you need to be on the road by 5 a.m. just to have to work until, like, let's just say 7 p.m. when you're pulling back in to the terminal. That's a long freaking day. And to do that consistently, five days a week, trust me when I tell you, it takes more of a toll on you mentally than it does physically. And finding that middle ground with the right company where the dispatchers genuinely do care about you and your ability to have a solid work-life balance, that's the company you want to work for. That's the company that I work for now, and I'm so blessed to have that ability to communicate with my dispatchers and let them know, hey, this is what's possible. This is what I'm willing and know I can do. And they accommodate whatever need be so that I can get home every single night as consistently as possible. Sure, every once in a while, you will have those super long days. It does happen. But finding the places that care more about their truckers over getting paid X, Y, and Z more amount because they were able to make two extra deliveries. That's more money in their pocket. doesn't mean it's more money in yours, honestly. And to be able to say confidently that the previous place that I worked for, I would make four digits and with all the taxes taken out, I'm making the exact same amount and working 20 to 25 hours less every single week at NNM now. So I highly suggest do your research in the company that you want to work for. And I mean that. God damn it. Shut up! Don't turn off the mic two seconds. There we go. But I mean it when I say it. Oh, but I mean it when I say it. Please do your research. Please look into the companies that you're working for. And if it's something that you're really willing to sacrifice either time um, or space from your loved ones and the people that you care about, and if you're like a social butterfly, are you willing to make that sacrifice? Think about those before you start getting into trucking, in all honesty. But with that said, that's all I got in today's video. Um, I'll be doing a lot more coming up here soon, especially within my actual lifestyle, because a lot of people do know that like I compete, I bodybuild, big into fitness, so I will be starting to make more content there again. But as for right now, just had to throw this video out there, try to get some views, so please do me a favor, like the video, please subscribe, hit that notification bell for all the future updates that this channel has to offer, and until then, I will see you guys later. Peace.